Hi again, it's Chrissy here for the final installment of the general reintegration brief for families of service members. So we covered the operational stress continuum. Again, please reach out to us if you want an assessment of the operational stress continuum um, for yourself and for your family. I myself looked over it and again, if you have children in different ages and maybe they've experienced some change in their life like a service member going away and coming back, there, you do sometimes think, well, this is just a normal adjustment period. But diving a little deeper, sometimes you can find out more about yourself and more about your family members by implementing some of these tactics at home. So if you have a way that you know to pull yourself back into the green, you need to be regularly practicing that for yourself and for your family members. Um, you cannot pour from an empty cup. I know we've all heard that before, but um, really self-care is not selfish. It's something you should be practicing regularly. Um, if you need additional operational stress resources, these are available for family members as well. Some of them do require for you to be a beneficiary, for, for you to be an ID holder, but some of them do not, okay? So consider that your chaplain is available for stress resilience. Um, chaplains are also 100% confidential. I am not. I, I keep quite a bit of confidentiality, but I do have reportables and chaplains do not have to report. Um, they do possess 100% confidentiality. Uh, your chain of command has additional stress resources. Um, commands do have uh, resiliency um, teams, so you can reach out to them for additional resources. Uh, your ombudsman goes through additional stress training when they go through basic ombudsman training. Uh, your Fleet and Family Support Center. So I'm one of those uh, people that come out and provide briefs about stress, so you could reach out to us. Um, someone in the Life Skills de Department can help you with that. Military One Source operates like 24-7 Fleet and Family. So if you're an ID holder, that's free for you. Um, call them or uh, go online and you can chat online 24-7, um, 365 days a year, they're available. And then you have your Naval Center for Combat and Oper Operational Stress Continuum. So that's the organization that comes up with the uh, operational stress brief. If your service member is experiencing more stress than normal, these are two organizations that you can reach out to to help that sailor fully reintegrate. It's not unusual for service members who have been deployed for a long period of time, maybe have experienced multiple deployments, or have been under additional restrictions due to the pandemic for them to be experiencing more stress than usual. Um, recognize, if you can recognize some of the signs that I mentioned earlier, if you see that your service member is operating in the red, it's a good idea to reach out to them um, and reach out to one of these other additional resources to get some other help with some ways that you can cope. If you feel like that service member is experiencing more stress than usual, or if you yourself are experiencing anything, anything that is more than you can handle, if you feel like you've been living in the red for a long period of time, um, if you're experiencing any kind of suicidal ideations or any kind of suicidal thoughts, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is who we want you to reach out to immediately. 1-800-273-8255. Um, so again, 1-800-273-8255. 8255. So we want you to reach out to that if you feel like you are there or you have a family member or someone that you know of. So I will come back and cover a little bit more about reintegration with children and reintegration with intimate partners. If you're a parent of a service member, um, realize there might be a period of time that they might need to decompress. Allow for that. Realize that that is a loving thing to provide them while they come back and open up the communication lines for a lot of open communication. Let them know what life has been like for you back at home, as well as ask a lot of questions for what deployment has been like for them while they are gone. We appreciate everything that, that you guys are um, going through and what you've sacrificed during deployment. Um, we will be here for you through this and after this, so reach out to us at any point. Our centralized scheduling number is listed on this slide, as well as all of our, as all of our um, 
operation sources, but most of us are working from home at this time. So please feel free to reach out to us for additional resources or any other questions that you might have. But thanks for spending your time with us today. And we look forward to seeing all of your wonderful faces um, when we're all able to be together again. Thank you. Bye.